Hi everybody, EB here and welcome to today's video. Today's video is especially for another one of my internet friends, his name is Cookie. <clears throat> and this video is dedicated to him or all those of you that love to play with him. It is of called, of course, <clears throat> Use your fucking minimap. <laughs> I think that's the uh, the saying most used by Cookie. Look at your fucking minimap. Hello, it's there. Bless him. I hope if Cookie watches this, Cookie, I hope you're safe and well in the world of Warframe that I know you're in. But nevertheless, there's a game that misses you very much. So this is my free-to-play account, and at Christmas in the Steam sale, I managed to get a hold of both chapters, both main expansions for six quid, which I thought was a bit of a steal. So I thought, well, I'll have a bit of that. <clears throat> so for those of you that are looking for an MMORPG in 2024, eh, you can't settle. You could do a lot, lot worse. Than Guild Wars 2. Guild Wars 2, like many of the MMOs I'll play throughout 2024, has of course an absolute shit ton of content. Of course it does. Why would it not? <coughs> um, <coughs> I'm going to make uh, a Ranger, which in my opinion is one of the best classes uh, to play. Why is that, Ebs? Uh, because of the extra content you get as a ranger that you just don't get with any other class. Oh, that's interesting, uh, Ebs. I can't scroll that down, can I? Oh, I can. Um, so, what extra content do you get then, Ebs? Well, of course, you get. It's quite nice. Not gold though, is it? You get uh, the ability. You get the ability to capture uh, and tame a whole raft of pets uh, that you just don't get the ability to tame and do with other classes. Anyway, that's my opinion. So there I am. Little Ebs, level 1. Uh, we're going to take the bear because the stalker and the chadmo there, the drake, are quite easy to cap. Uh, the bear's a nice tank, it's a bit slow, uh, but she's a good tank. Uh, we were raised in the streets with chabs. Uh, regret that I never covered my sister's body. And he now needs a name. Mm. Let's try... I don't think it'll allow me to, me to do triples. No, I thought not. Oh, EB is already in use. Um, okay. Let's try EB. EB is already in use. Uh, okay. Let's try uh, EB. Hmm. Oh, I know what... Uh, Uh, spot of bother here, peeps. Uh, I know what we can use. EB. There we go. No. Uh, Ebs. There we go. So, let's load into Guild Wars 2. Enjoy the intro. The human race once ruled Tyria. We struggle to hold our ground. We've been defeated, driven back, broken. But we will not surrender. So many nations have fallen. Only Krita still stands. Our faith is strong despite the silence of the six gods. With courage, We'll make our stand 
in Divinity's reach. The city is my home. I grew up on the streets. Although I have friends, my life has always been hard. I faced the worst this city could throw at me, and I sent it home bleeding. I'm done living hand to mouth. There's a war on our doorstep, and I refuse to be buried by it. Today I stepped outside Divinity's Reach, hoping to find better luck outside the city. Problem is, when I arrived in Shaymor, the village was under attack by centaurs. Innocent villagers are in danger. Someone has to help. I can take care of myself. But that's not enough anymore. Someone has to help those who can't. This is my story. And welcome everybody to Guild Wars 2, my, um, I guess, second favourite MMORPG, one that I can highly recommend to everybody. This is uh, free to play, although I've bought two expansions, to be fair, but as I say, I did get them for six quid, so we can't really ask for more than that, can we? So, uh, let's talk to Spedgemo. Okay, so uh, some of you might be wondering why I've chosen this account because this account has nothing on it, no achievements, it has it all to do, uh, which I think is fantastic. And I think the difference between this and Lord of the Rings is instantly clear. This is a world away from Lord of the Rings. Uh, but to be fair, Lord of the Rings was 2007, whereas this was 2012, so technically a lot newer game. Sergeant, there are more centaurs on the other side of town. Captain Thackeray's calling for reinforcements at the garrison. If he's calling for help, it must be serious. But I can't spare anyone. I'll go. Captain Thackeray's never failed Divinity's Reach. If I can help him, I will. Balthazar, bless you. That's the spirit that'll win this war. Good luck. Good luck indeed. Uh, we're going to cheese it a bit. <coughs> uh, and that we know a bit of a shortcut that we can take. Uh, that should bypass having to go into the fort and all the rest of it. Uh... So let's take that cheese. Completely different um, game to something like Star Wars The Old Republic. Both very similar. Um, <clears throat> it's very subjective as to which one is better value for money. Both are outstanding value for money. Um, and neither will rob you blind. Both do have a cash shop. Um, but the cash shop is all cosmetics for you to spend your dollar on uh, nothing more uh, so hmm, I think it's very very hard to choose between the two so why choose why not play both as we are doing here so we've just got to wait for this chub to come out here we go And then we get our first mini boss. This is all open world, of course. What is it? It's huge. That soldier is a threat. <clears throat> We're going Destroy to take it down. Standard tab target. Oh. Oh. Got knocked on body. Not nice. Watch for debris, watch for getting knocked on your ass. Got a Captain Thackeray. And he'll protect you. Because I'm a ranged jobby. I should be able to stand with Thackers. 
And he'll protect us while we... Uh... Oh, it's on the other side. Typical. Bloody typical. Uh... That's going to annoy me. <clears throat> Boom. Boss dead. Not particularly challenging, but then again, it's not meant to be. Okay, so here we are in our hometown of Queensdale. And as you can see, we've got it all to do. Where am I? What happened? You were injured when the elemental exploded. Captain Thackeray brought you here personally. You've been unconscious for three days. You had lots of visitors. Villagers you rescued, some seraph, and a nervous, shady-looking character who came by every day, but wouldn't give his name. That'd be my friend Quinn. You might want to check your supply cabinets. I'll find out what he wanted once I'm fully recovered. What should I do now? Fresh air and exercise are the best medicine. The goddess Duena helped you. Perhaps you could help others? Thanks, I will. And thanks for taking such good care of me. Bless you. You'll find plenty to do out in the valley. May Duena protect you. Okay, so there we go. Character adventure guide. And we've got a new bow. <coughs> So let's go ahead. Oh. Oh, I have to accept the nice chat. And we've got a level up as well, so we'll accept that level two. There we go, now we can equip it. Now we've got a better longbow right out the gate. Uh, we need to go and get the uh, point of interest while we're here. Free XP, lovely. And have a chat with Chadmo. Fields beyond Shamor are Krita's breadbasket. Since the Centaur attack, citizens are trying to rebuild their lives. But it's tough with bandits and dangerous wildlife roaming the area. Don't wait for an invitation. Jump in and help them. This is a waypoint. Waypoints appear on your compass, which is in the lower right corner of your screen. You can also see them on the world map, which you can access by pressing M. Press M again to close the world map. To teleport to a waypoint, open your world map and click on the waypoint to which you want to travel. Okay, so uh, Guild Wars 2 is a little bit different to other MMORPGs. In that it's not go here, kill 10 of them, go there, fetch 20 of these etc etc I had to put him in the chab guild because he is a chab in fact chab is going to be the name of our pet when we get the pet panel so uh, it's a little bit different to other MMORPGs in that it's more fluid and much more dynamic there's real world dynamic events for us to participate in and participating in those events will help you not only level up a lot quicker but also complete your hearts a lot, lot quicker as well. So, as I say, if you're looking for an MMORPG to play free-to-play in 2024, Guild Wars 2 could be what you're looking for. And it will provide you with thousands of hours of entertainment. From PvP to PvE open world um, to um, dungeons... There's plenty of dungeons in the game, if that's your thing. There's also a lot of group content that's termed fractals, which are kind of... I'm going to leave it at group content. And there's all sorts of other world bosses and massive group events all taking place in real time. I don't know who that chub is. Tungsten, really? Is that the best name you could come up with? Tungsten. That's all you could do. Tungsten. What a chab. 
So there you go everybody. Check Guild Wars 2 out. I'll leave a link underneath. It's freely available on Steam. Free to play. And it's definitely, definitely worth some of your gaming playtime. Without a shadow of a doubt. Especially if you're 100% free to play. This is, I think, one of the best free to play MMORPGs on the planet. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Thumb the videos up or down. I will see you for another Wicked Broken Ebes video.